Hi, this is Dina and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to have a thrift haul for you. This is all vintage goodness. So the other day my friend Sherry and I went to an estate sale and we got lots of goodies. That's on a previous thrift haul. I can put the link to that down in the description of this video. But my daughter Alyssa from Green Bee Explorer, she was able to go later that same day and she still found some goodies and she was texting pictures to me and calling me and said, what do you think about this? And I said, yes, get this, no, get that, uh, or don't get that. <laughs> so she was able to pick up some items for me and that's what I'm going to go over along with um, a Facebook marketplace find, which is right there, uh, that I'm going to go over in this video. So not a lot of items, so this will be a shorter uh, video. Uh, but I'm going to start with this over here. So she found this. This is a, an Osterizer blender. And I'm going to start to show you. She paid $2 for it. <laughs> so awesome. So um, I have an Oster myself. I have the whole setup though. Um, with the big arm that has, that holds the... the um, Oh my goodness, what do you call them? <laughs> the mixer. It's the mixer for the mixing bowls to, um, it has dough hooks and the, the mixing, oh my goodness, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> Whatever. Well, you guys know what they are. Um, to mix like your cake batter and uh, like the arms on it, the mixer arms. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you guys can help me out in the comments what they're called. Mine also has the food processor and the chopper um, with a mini chopper where I can like throw uh, like onions and peppers in and just chop them up real quick, uh, which I do use that. Um, so I still use mine all the time when I need to mix up cakes or you know anything like that. I use that bl blender all the time. So mine still works fine, and I got it in 1989. My mom gave me that as a graduation gift from college so it's over 30 years old and what i'm seeing is a lot of people are finding these sets because they're all being donated now from from the you know late 80s early 90s um and this is what the base of it looks like and they're all coming to market i'm seeing them all over instagram and TikTok, and i kind of chuckle each time because i have mine down in my kitchen I've been using it. I'm going to continue to use it. I'm, I'm not going to give it up. <laughs> uh, the good news is, is if I need a replacement parts, I, I certainly know where to keep my eye, eye out for them. Estate sales and thrift stores. So this base, it is super heavy. Look at all the buttons on there. You got your great chop, grind, whip, pur puree, all those good things. Um, they definitely made these things to last. And, and uh, so um, I have not tested this. If it works, I'm going to sell it as a set, um, probably $35. I'm not sure how much this would go for. I'm going to comp them out. I haven't comp it, comped it out yet. If for some reason this motor is burnt out and doesn't work, I will be able to sell this and every part of this. I can sell it as is or I can sell just the lid or just the base. I can actually part it out and still make about the same amount of money so it's kind of weird that you can <laughs> sometimes part them out and make more money on the parts than if you sell it together as a set um so i'm going to try to keep it all together and sell it as a set that's that's the goal so i'm hoping that this works now the other thing she or you can probably see it back there um found i'm going to push this over just a bit so i can get this out um without too much noise and she found this set of pyrex bowls and she goes is this a good pattern mom should i get it and i saw that she had the little bowl i'm like these are always so hard to find to complete sets people always find the big bowls and never find the little ones so i was like oh of course get that <laughs> this is the butterfly gold pattern and uh so it came with this little one and then we got the slightly bigger one that's also in the the yellow color and then the big one uh, in the white so this is this set is actually missing the other white bowl it should go white yellow white yellow and um, these are totally usable you can completely use these but never put Pyrex in the dishwasher that just ruins the finish on these um, and back in the day 
Um, in fact, a lot of houses in and where in and around where I live do not have dishwashers. They were built in the 20s, some of them, you know, and on up, but they didn't put dishwashers in or the kitchens are too small to put a dishwasher. In fact, the house that we went to, this estate sale was very, very tiny and there was no way that, that you could have a dishwasher in this in this house. Um, uh, it would you would just have no cabinets left at all um, so um, and uh, I got so many goodies myself you got to go back and see that thrift haul Sherry got goodies I got goodies uh, so definitely um, when you're done watching this thrift haul go back and watch that one and see all the other vintage goodies that we got well she got modern stuff uh, she got <laughs> ink cartridges but you got to see all about that how much she paid for them and how much she thinks she can get for them on eBay so I'm going to be listing these items these are because they're all vintage I'm going to be putting them on eBay and Etsy all the links to my selling pages are down below in the description as well and um, so here's another item she was able to find this little soup bowl 50 cents of course, if you go back and watch the other thrift haul, haul, I found so many mugs of all sorts. And so I have a lot of mugs to list. Um, uh, so these uh, tend to go for, you know, anywhere from 8 to $10 range. Uh, so 50 cents, not too bad. So what she does is she sources for me. My daughter will source for, for me and I give her the money for it or I give her dinner. <laughs> whichever she wants we kind of we kind of work it out <laughs> um so the last thing i want to show you guys is this big giant stack here i'm not going to show you all of them obviously <laughs> that would take forever but um i saw on facebook marketplace uh this um ad if you want to call it uh, or listing i guess listing popped up and said free free which i love that <laughs> free crochet patterns and I noticed that the woman lived about two streets in back of me and she was like free crochet patterns so I contacted her right away I'm like are they still available because she wanted just porch pickup she didn't even want to talk to anybody I said I will come back and get them right now look at this look at those doilies these are old now these don't even have the glossy covers to them in fact there's multiple sets of those where it's just like a staple bound like um, magazine if you want to call it that like a magazine um, and these are not even in color so I would imagine I can't wait to get these open and see what dates they're on them now this stack is more modern because it's got the glossy covers and they're in color um, I am going to be listing these up in small lots on eBay and Etsy. Oh, I know what I wanted to show you. So this one, the, in fact, the top one is intriguing because it's handbags where you can crochet a handbag. But if you look down there, it says 10 cents on it. <laughs> I'll make 10 cents for these patterns. <laughs> and uh, let me see what, here's another one behind here that says, 25 cents so back in the day these were so inexpensive which is probably why there was so many patterns collected up and some of the graphics on these oh i should i should get one of these out let's see if i can get it out without oh oh let me oh, look at the graphics on that these are good just for ephemera and display pieces but they're also very usable because they have real patterns in them so this one was also a 10 cent one it says uh, new tablecloths so I guess those are like patterns for uh, doilies and to maybe uh, you could stitch them together stitch the square ones together to make like tablecloths and bedspreads and all that um, I know that these will sell because I am part of um, a crochet and knitting group. Oops, sorry, I just bumped my table. <laughs> um, and uh, they are always looking for patterns. They are always looking for you know digital patterns, but they also enjoy um, all kinds of other patterns. So I will be listing these up in small lots. I'm not sure um, the price on them. And um, what I'll do is once I get that open and, and see some of the dates, I will um, show that maybe on some pictures um, in um, 
you know, Instagram. That will be a good place to put them on Instagram, and I'll put some detail up so you guys can see them on that. So all of my social media pages are down below too. And uh, so that is my haul. It's a very small haul. And thank you guys for watching and uh, leave me any comments down below. Give me that thumbs up. I know that only about half of you guys subscribe to my channel, which is okay. You don't have to subscribe. I really appreciate it if you um, would subscribe. It's easier to find someone when you do that. Uh, it is free. I know on YouTube sometimes um, it suggests that you um, get on their pay for service for their TV, but you don't have to do that either. You don't have to do any of that. When you subscribe to a channel, it makes it easier to find it on your phone or your laptop. You just go right to your subscriptions and they're all listed right there and you just click on the one that you want to watch. And that's why you always hear people saying, please subscribe to my channel. <laughs> it certainly helps us out um, as uh, content makers. So I will um, see you guys on uh, the next one.